Well, for many Georgia row crop producers, the loss of one longtime staple chemical is going to have major implications. The Monitor's Rick Trepto reports from the Georgia Cotton and Peanut Research Field Day that it is just one of the major crop problems being studied. In the early morning fog at the University of Georgia Gibbs Farm in Tifton, the researchers were clear. The loss of Timic will be a huge blow to nematode management, not only on peanuts, but also on cotton in Georgia. Aldicarb or Timic is a nematicide. The chemical is effective on the slow-growing root knot nematode. Timic will not be produced after 2014. There will be no more sales after 2018. The nematode also gets into soybeans and corn. But Timic has been a workhorse for 40 years, and to lose it now will require our growers to be more cognizant of the varieties they plant, more cognizant of the rotation that they practice, more willing to use excellent treatments that require a little more application technology like Telone 2, and hopefully our breeders can come up with uh, some, some new improved varieties that will help them with the nematode management. Kemmerade said the new Tifgard peanut variety planted on the farm shows it's nearly resistant to root knot nematodes. It's uh, a field we don't use any fungicides on. At this tomato spotted wilt virus screening nursery, it's taken a crop geneticist and others to get to the root of the tomato spotted wilt virus. Once I get the, the yield data in, once we harvest these plots and see those numbers, uh, we're going to consider some of this material for release as a variety. Well, right now they just have a number. Uh, it's just a, a cross number, um, several different cross numbers out here, probably 15 different cross numbers out here. The test plots being harvested as part of research showed excellent yields, yields any grower would be proud to have. So we're going to see a combination of some early, some on time as usual, and some late. It's just going to be field by field. We're going to have to judge it exactly field by field. Researchers now know how the crop has weathered the brutal Georgia heat. Uh, the heat units have actually accelerated the maturation process, and we've had reports and calls from agents with peanuts 115, 120 days that are ready when they should be 135 days. So we're running the two to three weeks ahead in some fields. The field day, a cooperative effort of the Georgia Peanut and Cotton Commissions, was a one-stop shop to learn about research for both commodities. Cotton and peanuts works probably best on dry land of any crops in combination we've got in, uh, in Georgia. Everything is high nowadays, so it's very important that you make a good yield. You have to manage it very closely now. Managing cotton has occupied much of the summer for Cockwood County diversified farmer Louis Perry. He says even irrigated cotton doesn't look that good to him. He's also had to monitor the cotton markets and world supplies. Looks like the U.S. is probably the only place in the world today has got cotton to sell. And uh, our neighbors, Asian neighbors, are, are really using it. I mean, the cotton usage is up and production, the world production is not going to meet the usage this year, so we're taking down supplies, so that should uh, help with the price in the future. The cotton and peanut harvests are just beginning. The better yields and grades from the fields, the more money in the banks. I'm Rick Treptil for the Georgia Farm Monitor.